Ships ahoy. Hello, Vital MTB. You're watching 17 Questions with Brandon Semnuck. Let's begin. Question number one. I know this isn't a question, but do a bunny hop bar spin. Okay. Question two. Why are bar spins so easy for you? They're not. I've knocked myself silly way too many times doing those tricks, but they're sure fun, so I do them. <laughs> Dialed, what do you think Taylor Sage will be doing in 10 years? He's going to be in a wheelchair wearing a paper hat. Some angst for the chillin' and some cruise for the ride. If you could have one person in the world dig trails for you, who would it be? Ryan Howard all the way. Kid's got magic with those hands, I don't even know. He's got little leopard hands that just make jumps into gold. I was the wrist or arm or shoulder or whatever wrecked at Crankworx. My collarbone, my right side here, it's all good now. I'm, I'm back to normal. It's super chill. I, I kind of broke this one like a few years earlier, so now it's just evened out. It's all dialed. Duraflame. Fuck yeah. Why have you never blogged on thecensus.com? Waste of time. Number eight. Why don't you race downhill? I don't know. I raced XC and some four cross when I was younger and I just, I got over the whole racing thing. It was just, it wasn't for me. So, yeah, maybe one day. Who's a rider few people have heard of that stokes you out when you see him ride? I'm gonna say uh, Corn on the Cob, Jacob Cobb. He's a, he's a shredder. I think I could watch him do whips all day and be super amped to ride my bicycle. What was your first bike? I had a an anodized orange Kona Lavadome that was so beat. And I got it from my brother's buddy and I remember getting that bike and I was all amped on it and I had this six set of shocks and I was like, thought they were sweet and I had to keep putting Judy butter in them. One day they just like totally stopped working and I bust them open and there was just like a fork imprint that was just it was Judy butter it was a fork made out of Judy butter it was the funniest thing ever and then I got and then I got an Indy S and it was unreal that bike killed it for me for like a good two three years what is the weight of your bike you have with you right now I don't know if you want to call it a bike it's more like a cart probably weighs a good 50 pounds craisins whose idea was it to make fake whoops in the Utah desert in the last video you did I think it was a group decision I, I think I actually came up with the idea, we were super bored and we were waiting for the light to change and we were like sitting there right in front of this other line and we were like, whatever, we got nothing else to do, might as well make the best of it. And we tried to put some whoops together and too bad we didn't have more time. It was so hard to get dirt but we were just digging away and we made some pretty fun ones. It would be nice to, to reenact that again another time in the future. Todd Pockets. Hey, can you call me on 1212? Number 13, if Travis Pastrana called you right now and asked you to do one rally event in his place, what event would you race? Shit, I don't know. Maybe, ooh, I'd probably do, I'd do the Olympus rally for sure in Washington. Yeah, yeah, I'd do that. Number 14, who does co-driving when you're out practicing to be a rally superstar? Uh, I go out by myself, and then I break the car, and then I have to figure out how to get it home by myself. No really co-driver. Sometimes I take some, like, friends out or whatever and censor that. Oh, yeah, some loin. Question number 15. Name one Mariah Carey song? I don't know. Something with love in it, that's for sure. Number 16. What trick have you been working on? that no one knows about and it is too scary to try unless you're really going to get something out of it. I've been working on my cannonball heel clickers a lot. It's like one trick. Like I've been see keeping it like so secret. I don't know. Like It's going to it's gonna blow some minds for sure. I, I've got it pretty much dialed right now, but on the down low, you know, obviously. 17. Would you rather be Facebooking than answering these dumb questions? Hells, yeah, for sure. I don't know if I'd rather. Number 17, wouldn't you rather be Facebooking than answering these dumb questions? Either way, I'm answering dumb questions. 